everything in this video is alleged and the opinions in this video are solely just the opinions of me. But if it's your first time um, watching my videos or whatever, I only have two. I'm talking. <laughs> I'm over here saying my videos like I have a lot. <laughs> The 12 hour exorcism of Erily. We live in a world now where everything is recorded and viewed, whether it's good or bad. These videos were recorded after the death of her daughter. It makes me wonder, what was she doing? What was she trying to do? People can be very ignorant to the fact. Sometimes words can't describe it. Sometimes, you just have to see it for yourself. Was the exorcism of Erily Naomi Proctor recorded? I wouldn't doubt it. San Jose, California, September 24th, 2021 at 8.12 p.m. A three-month-old baby, Brandon Salar, had disappeared. He was kidnapped right out of his grandmother's home. This backroom church had been searched. A suspect in that crime is a member of that church. Three were arrested. Claudia Hernandez Santos, 25 years old, had taken her three-year-old daughter to the church. Claudia believed that her daughter was possessed by a demon. The little girl would wake up screaming at night and crying. Erily was brought to the pastor, Rene Trigios Hazel, the little girl's grandfather. Another family member, Uncle Rene Aaron Hernandez Santos, was also there. The child was possessed. Her mother attempted to stick her fingers down the little girl's throat so she could induce vomiting. She pushed down on her throat with her hands. Early kept falling asleep. This would continue. The grandfather and uncle held the toddler down while Claudia tried to continuously induce vomiting, hoping that Erily would throw up the demon and the evil spirits. This took 12 hours of an exorcism. A quote from the pastor, it's not what I want. I want to do it. It's God, his will. If he wants to heal the person, end quote. Police were called two hours after Early passed away. She would be found dead, lying on the church floor. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, or if it's your first time watching my videos, hi. <laughs> um, I know I say, like, look, I know I say, or I say, oh, this scared me. <laughs> I know I, I, I say hey guys, like I use that word guys a lot, but I don't just mean guys, I mean everybody. And I'm pretty sure you guys know, but some people don't. They probably, like I've been told like, oh, never mind, never mind. <laughs> no, but like, cause you know how some people say y'all, hey y'all, this and that, like I'm not used to that, so that's why I say guys, but look, before I start with this video, I wanna mention two things. First things first, the giveaway. So for the giveaway, I told you, I told you guys to message me on Instagram with their sale or cash app. And guess who did it? Drum roll. <laughs> nobody did it. Nobody hit me up. Nobody messaged me their cash app, their sale. So it is what it is. It is what it is. You know, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, 
I'm not gonna sit here and say you guys have another week. No, because I gave you guys a week, you know? And I don't know if people just have pride or just they just don't wanna do it, so it is what it is, you know? Maybe next time on my next giveaway, people do message me, right? But for this week, like, it's okay. But another thing that that I wanna to, to tell you guys about, if you guys have me on social media or my Instagram or Snapchat, I posted how me and my girl Evelyn made a um, a page for to support women, right? To support women, um, to give you guys advice, like anything, anything that you guys need, like mentally, emotionally, like we're there, you know, we're there. Um, and and yeah, like um, I like I told you guys, I'm not gonna. I, I know I said I wasn't gonna tell you guys what to do, but if it's something that I know is gonna help somebody else, then yes, I'm gonna ask you to follow it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I am. So if you guys want, you guys can follow the page. You know, I'm gonna put the name and um, yeah, like I am so excited. You know, I am so excited because we have so many ideas. You know, and yeah, so if you're a woman or if you're a girl, you could. You could follow it and you could always hit us up you could always message us and we're there we're there for you but mm -hmm. from today's video as you guys saw the title i'm gonna be talking about my daughter okay i'm not gonna be talking about how she passed away but i'm gonna be talking about who she was like when since before i got pregnant when i got pregnant you know everything because i I want to talk about that. I want you guys to know who she was because if she was alive, I would definitely have her in my videos, you know. And and yeah, I, I just want you guys to know, you know, who she was. But but you know, I because look, back in 2016, that's crazy. In 2016, I I met her dad. Right, I met her dad and i moved with him like to a different state like it is it's just crazy. <laughs> but i moved and and um then yeah and then like it was it was all it was good right it was good and then um and then i thought i was pregnant i thought i was pregnant you know i was just like oh i was just scared i was like i'm pregnant and i was crying and everything <laughs> i was like i'm pregnant i can't believe it like oh da, 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 right and then i was like i told him i was like oh i told him that i think like i'm pregnant you know blah, blah, whatever and then we went to the the i think we went to walgreens and we got a pregnancy test the pregnancy test that i got that has two in them right so we got it we went home and I took the test. I took the first one and I was like, <gasps> I was like, all right. Moment of truth, like I was so nervous. I was like, I was just nervous. I didn't know what to expect, right? Cause I was like, I felt like I was, but I was like, I don't know how to make sure, blah, 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 whatever, right? So I did what I had to do. We waited the minutes that we had to wait. And then it came out negative. It came out negative. And I was like, I was like relieved at this, but at the same time I was so sad. I was like, oh, but I was I was already excited, <laughs> even though I cried and I was scared, but I was excited, you know, to be a mom. And and so, um, oh no, cause you know what? Cause when I thought I was pregnant, when I told him, we waited, we waited like a week, I think. And and I was like, and I was like, I was already feeling like, oh, I got I got crazy, you just that, right? <laughs> You know, I was just like, oh, you know, I thought I was pregnant, but then I did the test and they come out negative. And then I told him, and I was just sad, and he was like, well, did you want to have a baby? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. So, <laughs> so then we decided to have a baby. <laughs> and then, you know, we, you know, it happened what had to happen to have a baby, right? So, then, I remember I, I wasn't feeling good. I had, I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I had an, an infection, right? I had an infection and I was just like, no, this is not okay. Like something's going on. So we decided to go to the hospital. We decided, oh no, because I had gotten some medicine for it, but it didn't work. So I was just like, no, I have to go to the doctor. So we decided to go to the hospital, right? We were at the hospital and they were like, oh, by this time I didn't know, I didn't think I was pregnant. You know, I was just like, oh, whatever, right? 
So we got there and then we were just sitting there and they made me, they, you know how they make you pee in the club to see whatever it is, right? So the nurse came in and she was like, did you know you're pregnant? And I was just like, what? And I looked at him and he had the biggest smile. <laughs> he had the biggest smile and I was like, I was just like, wait a minute, what? And then she's like, she's like, yeah, congratulations, da -da, whatever, right? And then she left and we were just like so excited. We were so excited, right? And after that, we went home. On our way home, we were just so happy and just so excited, you know. I was so happy. I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have a baby, you know, like. And I wasn't even prepared. Like, I decided to get pregnant and I was not prepared for nothing. Like, I just wanted a baby. That's it. And I was just like, I want a baby. So I'm going to have a baby, right? So, so then we went home and then the days passed. I didn't tell nobody, okay? But I think the first one that knew that I was pregnant was his brother. Yeah, but like, only me and he knew or whatever. And then I didn't tell nobody until the fourth month. But those the the fourth the four months <laughs> before I told anybody, I remember every morning I had morning sickness. Like it was so bad, I would throw up every single morning. You know, after, when I was brushing my teeth, oh, I felt it. And I was like, okay, I gotta throw up. And I remember this one time because I used to ride his mom to work. I was just like, I'm feeling sick. I think she didn't know by, by then, but I think she had an idea. And it was early in the morning. I was like, I'm feeling sick. You got to stop. You got to stop. And then she stopped the car and I threw up. And then we went. We went to work, right? Or whatever. So after four months, I decided to tell my mom. I remember I called my mom. And I was like, I have to tell you something. She's like, what happened? I said, guess what? I'm pregnant. She's like, <gasps> she was just like, in shock but like I don't know how she was feeling to be honest I don't know because I was in a different state you know so so yeah so after that after we told my mom I told we told his parents and then like everything like everybody else found, found out found out you know like and then you know like during those months I remember like oh no because I remember after the four, the fourth month, after I told somebody, my, after we told everybody else, I decided to post it on my Snapchat. I remember I, I was like, I'm not gonna tell nobody until it's a certain time to be sure, you know, that my baby's safe and everything, right? So, so yes, yeah, so I posted on my on my social media, and everybody was like, oh, you know, whatever. And then, oh, I think I think I posted it when I found out that I was having that girl. <laughs> I forgot to tell you guys, so. Before I found out I had a girl, I had a feeling that I was gonna have a boy. When I found out I was pregnant, I was like, I'm gonna have a boy. He's a boy, he's a boy, whatever, right? So I was like, okay, I'm gonna have a boy, I'm gonna have a boy, da, 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 whatever. I remember this, it was a morning. It was a morning, I was at work, and sometimes I would take the bus. I think after a certain time, because his mom didn't work by the, where I used to work by, so I had to take the bus, right? So I, 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 I would, I would go to work really early and I remember um, this one time I was like okay I'm early I just take a nap I I fell asleep and I remember I was dreaming that I heard a girl a little girl's voice you know that she was like she called me mom but it's bad she called me mama and then I don't know something and I woke up and I was like wait a minute I was like so am I having a girl is this what it is is this what it is <laughs> And this was all before I knew that I was gonna have a girl. So, so yeah, back to what I was telling you guys. <laughs> you know, everything like happened during the pregnancy. You know, it was just bad. Like I was so emotional. Like so, so emotional. Like I would cry so much. And I remember when she first started kicking my stomach. Like it was just like <laughs> I remember her little kicks and. I was just so excited, you know, I was just so excited because I was just like, I'm gonna have my own baby, you know, and and yeah, I was I was excited, right? So I moved back and forth to here to over there to like the different things like no, no, I didn't move back and forth. I'm tripping like that. <laughs> I remember when I was I think I was like what, six months, seven months, I moved back here, right? With my mom and no 
I remember my whole pregnancy, I would crave her food, but since she was far, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't, I could, she couldn't feed me her food, but when I moved back, I, I, she would cook me every food, like every craving that I had, you know, for her food. And yeah, so the after, and then eventually he moved, he, her dad moved here too, because he stayed, when I moved, when I moved when I was six months, I moved by myself. And then eventually he moved here. And yeah, we were just waiting and waiting. And then her due date was October 4th. But, um, ¿qué iba a decir? But, <laughs> but she, look. So around that time, I think it was like maybe like two, three weeks before her due date. It's crazy because I thought, I think I had like two false alarms. Like, I remember this one time, it was, a, it was, we went, we, we were going to this, like, we started working somewhere, me and uh, her dad and I. And I remember after that, I was like, I think I need to go to the hospital. I think she's going to come tonight, you know. And then we went, and then the doctor was like, well, she's not ready yet, but if you want, you could wait. You could work. You could walk around the hospital and then see if that works, right? And then we're like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that because I want her to come out, right? So I started working around the hospital for two hours, for two hours, and the whole time she wasn't even ready to come out. She was just, she, 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 she played us. She said, you thought, <laughs> you thought I'm coming tonight, <laughs> but no, she didn't. She really didn't. She was still in there. And then after the two hours, I was just like, okay, I'm tired. And then we just went home. And then, I think that happened like two times. But I think the first time that that happened, like they just sent the, they just sent us back home. And then the second time, that's when we started. Like we decided to walk around. And then I remember, I think it was on the second October second. I think I don't remember, but I remember we were just like at home chilling. And I went to the bathroom, and I saw like not. I was like. I got scared. I was like, ah, this is not, I don't know what this is. This is, this is, I, I don't feel right, right? So I told him and then we went to the hospital. Then we called my sister and my brother and, you know, I think it was just my sister. We called my sister and we told her like, okay, she's coming because like my sister was so excited to, for me to have that baby. Like she was just so excited, right? So, so, um, can I see what I see? <laughs> yeah so anyway <laughs> we got to the hospital and they put me inside the bed and they're like okay so so you they said something about i could have the baby or something yeah oh she said we, we're gonna induce you or whatever because your 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 blood pressure is high so we're like okay. and they're like oh. and i was like okay for sure for sure it's time i was like i was low-key scared because i was like i don't know it's gonna hurt i'm scared i don't know right so so um so yeah so they put me in the other room they did a lot of things to me i don't remember but they put me in the other room and then it was time to wait it was time to wait because they were like we need to wait till you you're 10 centimeters so that you could be able to like you know to whatever to push out and then the whole waiting part it was like 14 hours i don't know it was just so long it was so long we we're just like i was just in pain i was just like oh so they were like we're gonna give you uh, oh they said that we, i don't know i don't i honestly don't don't know what it was but they're like we're gonna put a room so that it could help you open up you know so you, that you could get to 10 centimeters right so and i was like that's fine whatever and i remember like my, my labor the whole part everything when i was in the hospital was so painful like so so painful to the point where when she was born i couldn't really enjoy it because of how much pain i was i was having right so um i'm trying to hurry up i don't want to <laughs> this video is already 15 minutes long okay anyways look <laughs> so um yeah so we were waiting for hours and hours and hours they they put me you, I don't know what it was but it's not the epidural it was it's something else that they give you so like that it can help you with the pain but 
that didn't work. My pain, I still felt like, oh no, because they were like, we don't want to put the, um, the, we don't want to put the, um, the, what is it called? Oh, the epidural <laughs> right now, right? Because it's not even 10, 10 centimeters, whatever, what that. So we waited and then after so long, I remember I was in so much pain, right? I was in so much pain and then I told him like, oh, I need it. Like, I need you to put it because I can't handle this pain. Like, it was too much. So I remember they were like, okay, whatever. You know, it, it happened that through the whole, throughout the whole night, you know, like going through the pain into the, to the contract, contractions or whatever. And when they decided, I remember like when they decided to do the epidural, they were like, all right, we're gonna do it right now. They came, the doctor, whoever, the, the nurses came and and they see me down. I remember, I, I remember everything that happened. Like, of course, how can you forget, right? So I remember they set, set me down and they're like, don't move. But my body was so, in so much shock. I was just, I, I couldn't help it. Like my body was just moving by itself. Like I was shaking, you know, I was shaking because of so much pain and it was cold and they were like, don't move. And then they put him, I don't know. I, I don't know, I think, I don't even remember when the needle went in because it was everything, everything, it was just painful. You know, it was just painful. And I was like, <gasps> okay. So then they were like, okay, it should, it should be good. And then they let me down. And the epidural helped. It helped with the pain for like a couple hours. But after a certain time, I remember one side of my back, cause look, the epidural, they it numbed everything. It numbed everything, everything, right? But after a certain time, the i think it was my left my right side that right side of my back i i started to feel the pain again and i was like it was so strong like everything was numb but my back it, it, I, it was it was horrible the pain was so horrible you know and and they were like okay we could we usually with the epidural it was up to eight but we could add more right so even they told me that it, it usually goes it's up to eight, but to, with me they went up to twelve, you know, because it was so much. But no matter how like, they went through to twelve, but the pain was still there. Like it didn't work for one side of my back, and I was just feeling the whole pain zone. They were like, okay, you know, every now and then they would check, they would check, you know, if <laughs> they get to the head or whatever, right? So I remember that. They were like, okay, it's time, blah, blah, whatever. And they're like, push, you know, they were like, whatever, it happened, whatever it happened, right? Whatever. And they're like, push, you know, they were like, whatever, it happened, whatever it happened, right? But it's not that I felt anything like on my legs or anything, but like my back. My back was just coming in. And I remember they're like, oh, there was so many people in the room. I was just like, why is there so many people? But I was in so much pain that I didn't even care. I didn't even care who was there watching me. I was just like, I just want this over with. Like, I don't, like, I had my eyes closed most of the time anyway. So I didn't see anybody even around me. Like, no. And then, so then she came, she came to the world. <laughs> and, um, and she wasn't crying she wasn't crying so they were like so they moved her and then she started crying but then she stopped like she look i was so surprised because my baby she was not she didn't cry for nothing like unless she was hungry but like she wouldn't cry she was so calm and if she wouldn't smile she she had her big eyes <laughs> her big eyes looking around and we were like oh i remember when i saw her i was like oh my gosh she's here and I was just like, she's here, but I was in so much pain that I couldn't even enjoy that, right? So, um, yeah, so then that happened, you know, when we waited there. We stayed there for like three days, and um, my baby was so calm. We shared a room with another couple, and she had her baby too, and that baby would cry so much, so much. And then my baby was not, she was so quiet, and yeah so then we went home and i remember for like the first month she would not smile because you know babies can't i don't know i guess they can't really see but like she would not smile she was just serious and then like she would just look around and then i remember the first time that she, that she smiled like i just remember she was sleeping and then she started smiling we're like oh, she's smiling <laughs> and yeah she was just like oh, i don't know guys but 
she was just so serious my baby was serious when she was a, like a newborn but after like the fourth look this is this is, i remember for the first month the first three months i think she would wake up like five times a night and it was just so tiring you know and i was just like ah. i i did breastfeed feed her for a month but i couldn't handle it because she would i didn't know how to put my boob in her mouth you know or my nipple so she would she would make me bleed and it was just so painful and then i was just like nope i can't do it so then we just decided to give her the bottle on me right so then yeah, like you know, she it's it's um, que les estaba diciendo, yeah, so so you know, the first. Then she, she went a month, two months, and then she, all those months she was just growing and growing. And I remember when that <laughs> we gave her the pacifier, but after a while we stopped giving it to her because you know they say it messes up your teeth. So we're like, ah, uh -uh. so then yeah, so since we, we took her off. I remember that. Oh, it was so painful because she would cry so much for the pacifier, you know. So, but we're like, no, like, anyways, like. The first year, you know, she learned how to crawl. She is like, look, mm. when she started, when she learned how to smile, she she was like, my baby was such a happy baby. You guys don't understand, like, she was. She, oh my baby! Oh, I miss her. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, the first year, you know, I, I think she, when she was 12 months, and then when she started to walk. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to post videos so that you can see her and so you can meet and see how she looked like she what she looked like and yeah so she started walking you know and you know during that time when she started I remember when she started uh, talking you know she it took a while for her to learn how to talk but she would say mom mommy or daddy or whatever like she would just say that but I remember when she started learning more and more because look since she was in my stomach and since she was a newborn, I was always tell her that I loved her. And I would always, I make sure to tell her that I loved her, you know, and just make sure to show her so much love. And yeah, so she, when she learned to to talk more, she would just, I, I, she learned to say I love you, right? She learned to say I love you, but it wasn't until she understood more, when she grew more, that she started saying I love you, like to me so much like <laughs> look the last year that i had her she would tell me i love you so many times she would just tell me I love you. and you know what before i continue that i remember when she was like i don't know how old is she i think she was like two when her hair finally started growing because when she was like a baby her first year she was so bald <laughs> she because when she was a newborn she had a lot of hair but then her hair, I don't know what happened to her hair, but she was so bald and she had a little hair. But when she was like two, I, I think, yeah, her hair started growing. And then when she turned three, her hair was so curly and just so perfect. But, um, yeah, so like I was telling you guys, like, like when she started to learn more, my baby was such a sweet baby. Like, I don't think I've met a baby like her. And I'm not saying that because she was my daughter, but because my baby was so sweet. She was so sweet. Like, she would tell me, I love you, so many times. She would tell me, te amo, te amo. You know, like, I was like, te amo, mom. Oh, my baby. You know, and I was like, te amo. Like, I would always tell her, you know, and she would always ask me, she would have, she would, I don't know where she would come up to me. She's like, hug, hug. <laughs> you know, she would just ask me for a hug. And, and she was such a helpful baby too like when she would see me cook she would be like baby cook you know she would ask me to cook to to help cook with, <laughs> with the cooking you got it when yeah. she would see me clean she would ask me okay for help she would ask me to help she would tell me to <laughs> she, would, she would ask me to allow her to help me yeah <laughs> you know um 
I think I have a video of her doing dishes <laughs> because she would she learned to do the dishes. She just she just did it like she I, I I didn't ask her to do it. She just wanted it. She just wanted to do it, you know. And yeah, she was just like every time she would want to help, you know. I remember she would love look in the morning because she would sleep with me, you know. Since she was a baby, she would sleep with me. Um. So every morning when, like I told you guys, like when she started talking more, she would be like, she would be like, morning sun. <laughs> she would say morning sun. And then she was so like, she was such a happy baby. You know, she would, she loved her friends. Like when, when, she, I don't know, she just, she just like, she just had so much love to give to, to others. You know, she, <laughs> She was just a happy baby, you know, and, and it's like, it's so hard now, you know, because going from having her every day to not having her at all, you know, it's, it's so hard, you know, like everywhere, it's always something that reminds me of her, you know. I remember when we would go to the store, she would always want to come with me. But, you know, even when I had to go to work, she would like, she wouldn't want me to go to work. She would want me to stay with her, you know, but like, I had to go. But the thing is, like, I was so blessed to have, like, I was so blessed with her dad because he would help me so much, you know, like, I was able to, if I wanted to go out with my friends, I was able to go out, you know, because he would help me, you know, and he was such a, he's such a good dad, you know, like, he loved her, like, it, it, it's, it's a lot, but... You know, it's hard, it's hard because it's just a lot, you know, when I think back, when I look back at everything, it's, it's hard, you know, and, I, and, and to think that I'm not going to see her grow up, you know, like uh, how I thought that I was going to see her grow up, you know, like, but you know, it's okay, it's okay, because I know she's in a better place, you know, and God knows why he allows these things, you know. And I know everybody wants to know what happened to her, like her the cause of her death. And I will talk to you guys about it. You know, I will, but when I'm ready. It's just hard, you know, it's hard because I don't know. It's a lot. You know, being a mom, I think it was, it's one of the best things that you could be, you know, like, it's, it's, it's amazing, you know, it's amazing how you could have another, you could have a human, you know, I remember, <laughs> even when she was one, I still couldn't believe that I had a baby, I was just like, I have my daughter, like, she's mine, you know, it's like, she's mine, <laughs> Guys, I just feel like I wanted to share this with you guys. You know, to talk about her, to tell you guys who she was. And, you know, like I said, my baby was such a happy baby. You know, and, and I don't know. I I I could sit here and be negative about the thing, like oh, like I wish you could go back and this and this and that. But it's like there is no point of me doing that, you know, because I cannot change what is. You know, it is what it is. So. I've learned to think positive, you know, because it's 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 many reasons why God took her, you know. And I sit here and I think like, oh, what if if something would have happened to her, you know? What if she would have had like a sickness or or like what if something would have happened to her? Or like I don't know. It's it's a lot, you know. And 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 at the same time, like I. I don't know like 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 I told you guys like I I can see here and be negative but I like and be negative like oh not being negative but like be sad about that whole situation that she passed away but it's like there's no point you know because it is what it is it is what it is you know she's not here with me it is what it is you know and um and it's like what's the point you know I'm just gonna be getting myself 
put myself down when there's no point for me to do that you know like I cannot change the past and and I, I gotta be positive about the situation you know like at least she's not suffering you know like in this world we suffer so much you know and, and especially nowadays like everything is just so bad like everything just going downhill you know and that's what I'm thankful for you know that she's not gonna grow up in that world like in the world that we live in you know even though there is a lot of positive things and I could say like oh I'm not gonna see her grow up this and that but like I told you like there's no point of me doing that you know because it is what it is it is what it is you know so yeah like of course when I think about her you know I get sad and I cry and I miss her of course I miss her every day every second of the day you know and you know what I I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit like I remember after she passed away <sighs> it's crazy you know because when she passed away she was with me you know of course I'm her mom why would she not be with me you know but it's crazy how it, 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 it's just a lot you know it's a lot but a lot of people around me like I don't know how to tell you guys you know, it, it's crazy. You know, it's crazy when you see, like, how I see, like, people that were close to me, you know, and they didn't, they can say they care about my daughter, but, like, if you really care about my daughter, you would check up on her, you know, when she was alive. You would post her when she was alive. You know what I mean? But all of a sudden, she passed away, and you over here doing all these extra things for what? You know, saying that this and that, like, no, like, no. You know, and I don't know. It's just people. I don't know. People move how they want to move, you know. And people can think what they want to think, you know. And if you know what happened to my daughter, then you know. But if you know, if you don't know, then you don't know, you know. And the thing is, like, if you weren't there when she passed away, then whatever you want to believe or whatever you want to think that happened is not valid because you were not there. It's not the reality of how things happen. You know, like I was there, I know what happened to her, you know? And one thing I'm not gonna do is lie about how she how she passed away. When I tell you guys how she passed away and the people that know, I've been 100% honest, you know, I've been real because why would I sit here and lie about how she passed away? You know, and that's something that gets to me because it's like people weren't even there, but they wanna be out here saying this and that because of how the situation looks. But if you weren't there, then you don't know you know and that's why what people say or if you've heard something about what happened to my daughter if it doesn't come from me then it's not valid because you were not there you were not there you know and yeah like so many people are like i don't know i don't know it's just like it does get to me because i don't know you don't really know a person until you get to until you're at a situation where you like a situation like mine you know what i mean like i i know who was real and i know whose love was real you know and genuine you know and people could say like i said people could say and people could talk but at the end of the day i know what happened god knows what happened and the people that were there when she passed away knows what happened you know what i mean so whatever people want to be out here saying this and that like it does not matter okay it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because you were not there you know and I don't care like I don't care like you cannot come to me trying to tell me this and that like no 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 because like I said you were not there you know and a lot of people turned on me because after my daughter passed away you know a lot of people thought like a lot of things because after, when, after my daughter passed away because of how the situation looked but like I said if you weren't there if you don't know what happened then whatever you want to be out here saying whatever you want to be out here making people believe then that's really on you you know and the thing is like i don't worry too much about that because god knows the truth you know and the truth always comes out it always comes out and you know people want to be out here like look what well, i know i understand one thing is saying what you think it is but another thing is out here making people is being out here <laughs> making people believe what is not you know like trying to turn them against me like People could say, no, but I care about her, about the baby. That's why I'm saying, like, no, 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 because you're moving how you're moving and you're feeling how you're feeling, you know, but it is what it is. And I always say that, you know, and yeah, like, 
this like look after my daughter passed away i've learned so much and i've grown so much and i matured so much you know yeah and i'm just thankful i'm thankful because i could have easily killed myself you know after she passed away but god is good you know god is has god has been there for me he that has always been there for me and that's something that i'm never like that's exactly he that has always been there for me and that's something that i'm never like that's exactly why i'm i'm not ashamed to be talking about him you know like god is real and he has always been there for me you know in the darkest moments of my life he's always been there for me you know and when people have turned on me he he has never you know he has never he has always had my back you know and he's always gonna have my back you know and i'm not out here to get revenge on anybody because god got that you know what i mean like whatever you do to me you're gonna get that back twice as bad you feel me so i'm not i'm not worried about that you know like like i said god got me you know and and yeah like that's that's exactly why i don't worry look i i wish i could get up like i don't have look it's already 37 minutes but in this video i don't really care about how long it is you know because this video means a lot to me and everything that i talk about to you guys means a lot to me but videos like this i really don't care how much time you know it is but like i was saying like the moment look a moment where i realized Oh, excuse me. The moment I realized that God, that the only thing that I need is to trust God, is the moment where my life changed, you know, and it became so much better. And, and yeah, like, I, I am so thankful to God, you know, because He has never left my side no matter what like i don't care what people say i don't care what people talk about me you know um because i know the truth and i know god knows the truth you know and if god knows the truth then that's all that matters to me literally like that's it you know like i told you guys before god is the center of my life like he is what has what keeps me sane you know like he is so amazing and I love him so much, you know, and I'm so in love with him and everything that he's done for me. And yeah, like that's why I said this before my social media. Look, when you see me, <laughs> you're gonna see me happy and smiling, you know, and that's because of God. You know, I don't have like look, whatever comes my way, I don't worry. You know, whenever I have I, whenever I have a problem, I don't worry because I know God got me. You know, he 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 um he's always there and he's gonna make a way for me you know and i feel like that's how we all should be you know like i told you guys i'm not here to tell you what to believe okay i'm not i'm not but i'm gonna speak the truth and i'm gonna speak my truth i'm always gonna speak the truth you know because what do i gain from lying you know what i mean like no you know you guys know i'm gonna be straight up with you guys and i'm gonna be upfront about how i feel about what i believe and yeah that's just me you know um but yeah guys i am I don't know I I it's it's a lot of emotions <laughs> okay when it comes to these like I don't know I am just I don't know. oh you know what before I forget in 2017 I actually decided to get her name tattooed on me <laughs> my daughter's name tattooed on me and her date of birth we all matches right here you know it is what it is but <laughs> yeah guys i i i don't know i don't know um, i don't know when i talk about my daughter you know it's obviously gonna be like sad and, and emotional you know it's gonna be very emotional for me but i just want to thank you guys you know if you watch my whole video like i really like if you watch this whole video i really appreciate you so much you know because you took the time of your day to watch my video you know and i want you guys to remember look i want you guys to remember that if you're going through something something that's dark something that's really painful it's gonna be okay okay it's gonna be okay um i remember when i was after my daughter passed away and i was in that depression like 
I was just like, it was just bad, you know, but I knew that it was going to be okay. And that's what kept me going, you know, and I think you should always say yourself and remember that it's going to be okay. You know, certain things happen in our life to teach us a lot of things, you know, and at the end, it's going to be okay. You will be able to smile again. There's going to be light <laughs> at the end of the, ton of the tunnel, you know, and yeah, just just know that it's gonna be okay you know like i'm okay i am at peace i am happy and it's all like the for me the reason why i feel that i feel how i feel is god you know and i'm always gonna say that you know and i'm never gonna be ashamed of talking about god like no if you don't want to talk to me if you don't want to be in my life because of it that's fine you know what i mean that's fine like I, if i'm alone look at my darkest moment i was alone you know so what makes you think i need you like no 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 i always say like the only one that i need is god you know, and I know he's never gonna leave my side, and that's all that matters to me. You feel me? So, yeah, I I want you guys to remember, like, it's gonna be okay, and you're gonna be able to smile again. You know, and yeah, I <clears throat> I just want to say that I appreciate each one of you who watch my videos. You know, who who take the time of, out of your day, like I was saying. You know, um, thank you, thank you, because you guys actually sit here and listen to me you know <laughs> it's not because you you want to subscribe or you want to like or whatever it is about the whole youtube thing you know but the fact that you're taking your time to watch my videos that's what i appreciate but i'm gonna try to add her pictures i don't know if it's gonna allow me doing them i don't know because I, I haven't like the last <laughs> before i go <clears throat> i want to say this um on my last video I didn't even know the reason why I edited it the way that I did it because I didn't even know in the app that I used I could I could edit it the way that I did you know so I'm gonna try I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see, if do it or if not I might have her videos and her pictures at the end of this video so that you guys can see her you know but yeah guys thank you for watching my whole video I appreciate I, I appreciate each one of you you know and I hope <clears throat> Okay, guys, I was going to say something else, but I honestly forgot, but, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, let me see, is there anything else? No, let's see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On January 31st, 2022, over four months later, Claudia Hernandez Santos was arrested in the death of her daughter. Four days after, she had posted that wannabe influencer video. It's believed that the little girl died from asphyxiation. Pastor Santos, along with Uncle Aaron, were arrested too. This video is scary. The lack of empathy, the way she laughs, it's disturbing. But it is what y'all did. Justice for Arelli.